Um, do, how different do you think the public reaction will be to a guilty versus a not guilty verdict in that case? Man, that's a tough question, Vinny. I mean, that really depends on who you're asking. I mean, there's some folks that um, see things that I don't even understand how they get there. And in this particular case, I think you're going to see some um, some hurt feelings, no matter which way it comes out, and as a result, some angry behavior. But um, and, and this is a tough one to call, so I, I I don't know how else to answer other than that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not an easy case, folks. Everyone thinks, all right, you just press play on on the video and it's over. It's not. Trust me. And especially, it's a prosecutor versus four defendants, which I think actually helps them. Uh, Camille writes tonight. Elaine Maxwell, it would be great to finally get some justice for those poor victims. Also, if we can get some truth with perpetrator names, it would be a wonderful beginning for draining the swamp. Of course, Elaine Maxwell linked to uh, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Latonia Hines, and everyone, every time we do this story, everyone's wondering, are we going to hear more names? Are we going to hear more names? Do you think during her trial we will hear more names? Like maybe some I mean prominent names? famous, right. powerful people that we haven't heard linked to these two? We may hear some names that we haven't heard linked to them, but one of the names is a very big name, and it's across the pond. You've got Prince Andrew still. I mean, because of his involvement with Jeffrey Epstein, he's no longer a working royal. I mean, this is something where everybody has some interest in it because this has been long going and Epstein's no longer here to answer for his crimes. So you want somebody to answer to what was involved in doing these things to these young women. So it's going to be a very, very interesting trial coming up next year. Oh, absolutely. She's still trying to get out on bail. Uh, you're willing to post $28 million. Uh, Veronica writes, Kyle Rittenhouse murders or murder trial. Okay, Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old, uh, shot and killed two people in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, Andrew Warren, this is probably on the docket the most polarizing of all the cases that we are tracking. I mean, Joseph talked about the George Floyd case to a certain extent being that way. This one, uh, even more so. And both sides are just dug in. Do you think that seeps into the jury room? that you could end up with jurors who, you know, because they see the world a certain way, see the case a certain way, and are unable to agree with each other? Absolutely. And that is a really difficult case for prosecutors because it's become so political. And it's against the backdrop of racial justice like the George Floyd case is, but Floyd is a different type of case. In this case, you're going to have 17-year-old kid, you're going to have a uh, stand-your-ground type defense, you're going to have these racial... Uh, motivations involved. And as you said, Vinny, people have really dug in before they even know the facts. It's going to be really hard to pick a jury that can be open-minded and impartial. Yeah, uh, Joseph Lowe, let me ask you, during jury selection, do you think uh, asking political affiliation is a fair question for that one? Man, you almost never get to ask that question, uh, as you know. However, in this one, there may be an exception as a result because of the Clear lines, if you will, unfortunately clear, that have been drawn with regards to politics. But I'll tell you this on the, on this case. the Why it makes it so hard and interesting is if the boy had not come up out of a, you know, a different state of Illinois, got a gun, you know, using, you know, government money, and then gone in and gotten into this deal, he looks like a hooligan. He looks like, a, you know, someone who's actually creating the chaos. And you can see why the government would want to put a stop to it. But unfortunately, he's getting attacked, and they're trying to kill him. And so now we get the self-defense argument going. So this is why it's going to be so difficult. And I don't even know it's going to be politics only with jurors. There's a lot of gun people going to be on this one. There's going to be a lot of people who don't want to see, you know, uh, deadly force used in this kind of situation. Man, it's, jury selection is going to be long and hard.